September 30th, year 10, at 4.51 a.m. On Ben's couch as I write this, entry 90, attain. A few things have happened that I feel worthy of mentioning, but it's late so I'll try and be concise. Got drunk with Joe and his straight, quote-unquote, bartender mechanic Gemini friend, Frank or something. He impressed me a good deal that night with his eye for details. Later on that night, he got head from Joe, which I considered interrupting to observe but decided against. Bracket. Though afterwards, Joe said I could have joined at any time. He should have told me beforehand. Bracket. End bracket. And had a short chat with him explaining his lust and passion for cars before departing. Short means he said I had to go, but then ended up talking about his interest for another 30 minutes. <laughs> Probably my fault for asking questions, though. <laughs> I stayed over Joe's that night. I've decided that I may take a break from school, for monetary reasons, and go back when I'm no longer a dependent, so that financial aid will be more helpful then. I've also kissed Kenny, and we are becoming... closer? I don't feel myself falling in love with him, but I do see him as a guy who could be a very good marriage partner or best friends with benefits, etc. I don't know. I have a lot of respect and a decent amount of attraction for him, but... He's also intelligent, yet attainable. Hmm. Bracket. I only mention attainable to contrast with my straight friends, who I do not classify as being in that category, despite that I have been with a number of hetero individuals in the past. End bracket. I performed my monologue in acting class last Tuesday, and the whole class loved it, or enough of them. One girl even wanted a copy of my poetry. I've also recently been turning YPI... Youth Pride Inc. into a dance party every time I've gone. The youth have really seemed to enjoy it. I invited Chris over and he helps from time to time. Yesterday, I got carried away dancing and did a split and a few hours later I am now regretting that. Yeah, I'm gonna be one of those old men in the future. <laughs> oh yeah, and I helped Anthony get off yesterday, or last night, just FYI. I purchased a green glitter lava lamp and the way it lights up my room is gorgeous. Also, I met a gay, masculine, semi-Italian, quote-unquote, free-thinking guy yesterday at the library in CCRI. I hope he calls. I would like to get to know him better. Mike was his name, I believe? I've also, uh, almost finished the book, Eclipse. It's already late, though, so I better hurry up.